But if you have found him for yourself, if you have found God for yourself, you, you are content. How do you find God for yourself? Who, are we producing converts? Is the church that you're talking about producing converts or disciples? Okay. What about people who don't believe in Christ? They will not go to heaven. They will not go to heaven because okay. the only way to go to so heaven. So it looks like very few people are going to heaven. It's just that John 3.3. 3. No <laughs> one see, no one can see the kingdom of heaven unless mm. he's born again. And Nicodemus went to Jesus yes. by night. Mm. And Jesus says, no one can see the kingdom of heaven unless, unless he's yes. born again. Mm. And then he said, born by water and by the spirit. spirit. And the blood. But you are t changing. You are changing it to confession. Today in the studio I'm with Pastor Samuel and we're talking about cosmological arguments. We want to know if God exists or mm. not. Uh, Pastor Samuel, would you please greet the viewers at home? Uh, greetings to the viewers at home. Uh, this is Pastor Cindy so Samuel Mbalekwa. Thank you so much. Are you, are you a Christian? Yes, I'm a born again Christian. Born again Christian? Yes, sir. Okay. So is it only Christians who will see the kingdom of heaven? Um, I believe it's only Christians who will see the kingdom of God. Okay. Um, because from, you know, from the Bible, the Bible says in the book of Acts that um, it was in Antioch that they were called Christians. The first the time when they were called Christians, Christians it yeah. was in Antioch. In Antioch, yes. In the followers of Christ. The followers of Christ, okay. yes. Then that's where this thing of um, being born again and being a child of God and being a Christian evolved, meaning that the lifestyle of Christ, it was now the lifestyle that they were living, of which is the lifestyle that actually qualifies us to enter heaven. So confessing with your lips that Jesus Christ is Lord, is that the thing that qualifies you to enter the kingdom? Yes, sir. And if you don't confess with your lips and you're dumb, you can't confess, then you can't see the kingdom of heaven. Um, you know... There are people who are deaf, dumb, and blind. Mm. What's going to happen? <laughs> uh, to those who are, who are deaf and dumb, there are ways for them to communicate. Deaf, dumb, and yeah. blind. Deaf, dumb, and blind. Uh, which I've, way? How do you I've, I've, I've never said such, but I believe that if you are blind, there's a school for blind people. Yeah, but I'm not so, talking about Brill. I'm talking about people who are deaf. I'm, answer, I'm answering that as well. Are they not going well. to heaven? If they have confessed, they will How go to heaven. How are they going to confess? There are systems that uh, helps people to communicate. Let me leave you on that one. Yes. On that one. So, it's only the born again will go to heaven. The, the rest of other religions are not going to heaven. Is that what you're saying? Um, the born again, I can say... Our population right now, I'm sorry to interrupt you, yes. we've got a population of over 7 billion people. Mm. Okay. And from that 7 billion people, there are so many religions. Mm. And according to the born again and you, you are saying it's only those who have confessed Jesus Christ yes, as their sir. Lord and Savior are going to heaven. Yes, sir. So the rest is not going to heaven. Yeah, if, if you have not confessed... So are you saying there's no, there's, the heaven does not have enough space for other people? Right? It does, but there is, a, there, there, is, there, there is a way that you need to enter there. You know, every, every place has its own system to enter it and to be part of uh, whatever lifestyle is there. Okay. Also as Christians, that's what the Bible says, that if you believe with your mouth, with your heart and you confess with your mouth, that then... That Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Then you are born again. Okay. Then you can be a child of God. So from those standpoints... Don't, don't you think by using only that theory and that belief and the doctrine that has been formed from John 3, 3, mm -hmm. 
and wrote the book of Romans. Yes, sir. Talking about confession mm. and talking about being reborn. Mm. Don't you think we could be, uh, the born again could be wrong somewhere? I believe that the word of God, uh, it's straight and it's tending. Okay, I'm going to challenge you right now. Okay, sir. Uh, you, you came here knowing very well that I'm going to start taking questions, right? <laughs> yeah. Were you told that this is a hot seat? <laughs> yes, I've, I've heard yeah, that it's a hot seat. Like, uh, Jesus, when he was on the cross yes. in Golgotha, mm. there were two criminals. There. Mm. One of them said something. He said, according to the Bible that you read, he said, uh, remember me. Mm. He was not born again that man. Mm. Is that correct? You're right. He was not baptized in water. Yes, you're right. He was right. not filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes, you're right. He never accepted Christ as his Lord, Lord and Savior. What did Jesus say to him? He said, I will, you will be with me tonight in paradise. Yeah, but he was just saying, remember me. So don't you think right there, when you look at human terminology, we are still operating from the aboriginal platform. And when we speak in the future, our language is going to change and we're going to form and coin new words. Mm. At the moment, people will be living in 2090. Mm. When they look at us, they'll be seeing aborigines. Okay. Um, and the way we are interpreting scriptures, mm. don't you think there's something wrong right there? When we, th we say, only those who have confessed with their mm. lips. Mm. And what about people who don't have a tongue? Okay. Who can confess? Okay. So that man uh, who was hanging on the cross, yeah. remember uh, Christ had not yet died. Christ had not yet died for him to receive Christ the way we are receiving him through what Roman says, if you believe yeah. in your heart and confess. Yeah. So I believe for him, he found grace you know, to enter paradise. So you're talking about grace. Was it the dispensation of grace? You've got dispensations. Yes. Which one is the first dispensation? Uh, is that the dispensation of law? No. The first dispensation is the dispensation of innocence mm. and then conscience mm. and then the government, mm. civil government, mm. patriarchal dispensation mm. and the Mosaic dispensation. Was Jesus under the Mosaic dispensation or the dispensation of grace? Jesus came. On the cross with the criminal. He was in the dispensation of uh, Christ. <laughs> he was in the dispensation of Christ in a sense that uh, he had come to, the Bible says, he said he did not come to destroy the law, but he came to edify. So he was, he, he was not either in the dispensation of Moses, but he was beginning uh, the dispensation which is of grace that is going to actually bring people back to God. So you are saying confession mm. is the only transport that takes you to heaven? I believe that confession is the only transport that takes you to heaven based on uh, what the scripture says. confession according to the Pentecostal uh, norms no, and ethos? Based on what the word of God says. Not a... a, 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 a a religion, not a Pentecostal, not a Catholic, according to what the Bible says, if you believe if you with believe. your heart. That's where I'm standing. So you're saying these other people do not believe in their heart? If the they, if, if they have not confessed, if, if they had not believed, if they have not confessed, okay. it's a different story. Okay. What about people who don't believe in Christ? They will not go to heaven. They will not go to heaven because okay. the only way to go to so heaven... So it looks like very few people are going to heaven. According to the Pentecostal belief, it looks like there's going to be heaven is going to be so empty that it'll be boring. It's, if there are no, if these other religions are not going to heaven, it's not a Pentecostal Hindu, thing. Wait, wait a minute, if the if the Hindus are not going, it's to not heaven, a Pentecostal thing. It's, it's a it's a it's a biblical. It's a word of it's God. It's a biblical thing. Yes, it's the word of God. But look, this born again thing, mm. is. It's, it's, it's a Pentecostal thing and the charismatic thing and, and also an evangelical thing. Mm. Uh, other churches are not talking about this. But people. it's but you know, okay. You know, churches. Let, let, let me say this. Wait, 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 let me finish this. Okay. I'll give you a chance. Okay. Confession and baptism of water does it help a person to go to heaven? Okay. Let let me say this. I'll come to your to your to your question. Every every system every. Um, uh, place, company, country, 
it's governed by its laws. Yeah. It's governed by uh, its written document. Yeah. South Africa has its own constitution. Yeah. Uh, we believers we have our constitution which is the word of god that we need to live by and abide by so me i'm talking from the standpoint of my belief my faith that if you want to or if you want to go to heaven if you are going to heaven this is how the access that you get to go to heaven don't, if you believe I hear you, but yes, don't you think that we are limiting the supreme being if there is a supreme being we are limiting him and saying this is the only way to go to heaven and now what about those who do not believe in christ that christ that there is a company of people and a religion that believes that christ was an imposter mm. um, and what if he was an imposter I don't, I don't think that we are limiting God because we are actually led, we believers, those who are believing in him, we are governed by his word. So if we are going to accommodate something that is outside his word, that means even us ourselves, we are going to lose ourselves in him. So if we are saying we are limiting him by wanting, by, by, by wanting to, you know, bring things that are outside his word, then we are also disqualifying ourselves from him. So we are, we, are, we are doing what we are doing, not because we want to do it, but the word of God tells us to do it. A lot of people say Christianity is a white religion. What is your take on that? Christianity doesn't have color, it doesn't have race. I say a lot of people. A lo yes. That, that, say Christianity that, is that's, a white religion. That, that's my answer to them. Yeah. Religion, I mean Christianity has no race attached. Yeah. It's for everyone who believes the word of God as it is preached. Okay. How will they know okay. unless someone preaches to them? So if there's someone who comes and gives you the good news of Jesus Christ, remember, this thing is not a force. We, we, we are not holding some box and knives to tell you, hey, receive it. No, it's, it, it's a willing thing. You accept but, it but, by but willing. But what if we are wrong? But what if we are wrong by saying you have to be born again in order to see the kingdom of heaven and not because there are other books that are not included in the Bible? For, for instance, the Pentateuch, I mean, the Apocryphy. Apocryphy is not included in the Bible. Mm. And also other books and Gospels that are not included in the Bible. And those books, you haven't read them. <laughs> and you're only emphasizing one scripture, just that John 3.3. 3. No, <laughs> no one can see the kingdom of heaven unless he's mm. born again. And Nicodemus went to Jesus yes. by night. Mm. And Jesus says, no one can see the kingdom of heaven. And Jesus is born again. Mm. And then he said, born by water and by the spirit. spirit. And the blood. But you are changing. You are changing it to confession. He says, born by the spirit. And by what is using water. That, and that, wait a minute. Mm. He's using water and spirit. Mm. So, are you saying all these other religions, what if someone out there who's not a christian and he's born by the spirit and by water it uh, happens that he's born okay. by water and by now the spirit. When, when when jesus said to him that you 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 must be born by the spirit and the water uh what it, does that what i have to do with heaven then? pardon what does have what i have to do with heaven with going to heaven is it a transport no it's not a transport I'm, I'm, I'm trying to explain uh, why did Jesus says you must be yeah, born of the water and the spirit. Yes, that's where I'm coming. That when Jesus said you must be born of the water, the spirit of blood, there are some things that sanctifies you after you have received Christ. Like if you, 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 uh, my father was a Sangoma. Yeah? He was a very Sangoma, yes. Then people who came to him and people who wanted to believe in his things, there were some things that he does to them so that they can feel, Uguti, I'm, I'm helped by this man. Same applies to Jesus. When he says to Nicodemus, you must be born of the water, the spirit of the blood, that was not confession. Meaning he could accept Jesus, he could be baptized by water, he could receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You talk about sanctification. Uh, does sanctification helps a person to enter the kingdom of heaven? And what is the difference of sanctification and justification? 
Sanctification, it helps because um, remember when we come to, 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 to God through Christ, we come with our sins. We come, uh, sorry to use this word, we come filthy. Mm -hmm. So when we come to him, he needs to sanctify us. He needs to purify us because the Bible says that he is a holy God. You know, so for us to stand before him, he needs to make, we don't make ourselves to be like him, but he makes us through the blood of Jesus. That's it, it but don't you think us. the church is failing to be pure? The born again church is failing to become pure and holy. I believe that the church is not failing. The born again church is not failing. People are the ones who are failing to. The church is people. Yes. I'm not talking about the building. Yes. I'm talking about people okay. who call themselves born again. Born again believers. Don't you think things are becoming completely out of kilter by not keeping the laws and doing what is right? Most of the, of, of, of the born again, they're doing things that are wrong. They're mm. transgressing the rules of God. Mm. And it, we all know that. It's, it's, we, we, wait, wait a minute. Let me okay. finish this. The world knows that the church is not pure. Mm. And we keep on lying to the people. I've been interviewing people here mm. and I'm asking these questions on behalf of the people. Don't forget that. I understand. God is not I understand. I understand. They are saying the church is lying. The by saying it's holy. The church is saying it's preaching holiness when it's not holy. The church the church is not filled. Uh, people whom we are referring to as the church now. They are the one through whatever they've experienced that has made them to go out of the word of God and make themselves feel. But the church, remember the church is the bride of Christ. So if the, 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 the church is not... Where do you find the holy church now? Where do you find it? Because we've been moving from one church, people are moving from one church to another church. They're seeing even imposters coming in the banner, holding the banner of the Pentecostals. As, as we have okay? as, and you are finding this one-on-one -on -one coming from the Pentecostal church mm. where they milk people's goats in order to feed their sheep and taking monies of poor people as you are saying in the name of pentecostalism as you are saying the problem is that people are no longer looking for god they are looking for men of god that's why they are going from church to church church to church if you have and this is my experience about god if you find god if you find god you will never jump from this place to that place to that place unless you have found a man because that man is a human being like you and you as time goes by you're going to see his weaknesses you are going to leave him hmm? but if you have found him for yourself if you have found god for yourself you, you are content how do you find god for yourself who are we producing converts is the church that you're talking about producing converts or disciples finding god it's a journey doc i'm saying is the church producing converts or disciples it producing disciples it's producing disciples it's producing dis oh, what kind of tools are they using to produce disciples the word of god teaching the people the truth of god the church of today is full of converts that's what people know and this, that's what they're saying the the the, 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 ch the, the church of today is the, the problem are you okay let me ask you mm. are you a disciple yes i'm a disciple who disciple my spiritual father. How? How did he do that? He taught me the word. How? Tell me. Practical teaching the word. If I can go through that, it's going to be a long time. But there are some principles he shows me from the word of God that if I keep them. Okay. Mm. Apostle, do you have a church? Yes, I do. You pastor a church? Yes, I pastor a church. You preach every Sunday? Yes, sir. Are you supposed to teach or preach? It depends on the message the Lord has given you. What did God say to you? The last, the last words that came from the mouth of, the, of Jesus about it, the Great Commission. What is the Great Commission? He says, go ye to the world and make disciples. Yeah, but why are you preaching? Then? You're not making disciples when you're preaching. It's a show. No, you're, you're making you, a show. You're not teaching people that can't even ask you questions. No, but you have just asked me, do I disciple people? Do I preach? I said yes. Why do I preach? Or how do I preach? I told you it depends on how, how the Spirit puts how on many, me. How many As the Spirit puts, that's part of the discipling how, how and many, raising. How many disciples have you made? Oh my goodness, I can't count them. 
And how, what kind of tools do you use for discipleship? I use the word of God. Well, define for me discipleship. Discipleship is um, a receiving the word that you have been given and holding on to it without wavering. Okay, why did you come here for this interview today? I came so that uh, I can be interviewed on cosmological <laughs> argument. <laughs> argument, yes, and sir. And you knew that you were going to sit on a hot seat, right? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Well, I, <clears throat> I still have a problem, but I like the way you, you answer. Thank you, sir. Maybe you might be able to help, to help the people. Thank you, sir. I have a problem of this born again thing. Okay. That if it was done by in the 14th century, I think, you, I don't know if you know, in the 14th century, Leonardo da Vinci was commissioned mm. to paint the Last Supper. Did you know that? Yes, I know. And he took his uncle as a model put him on the chair, he went to prison and took 12 inmates, mm -hmm. put them next to his uncle mm -hmm. and painted the last supper. And that painting It's still up to today. Yes. And people are seeing Jesus in that painting. They, <laughs> and his they, disciples. They dream that Jesus. They dream that Jesus. Mm. <laughs> and they've accepted that Jesus. The Lord has said. Uh, Did you accept the one on the the painting as you know. I didn't accept the one on the painting. Which one did you accept? The one that Who I led you to Christ? The, the one that, it's my father. My dad is a pastor. He's the one who led me to Christ. Yeah. The one he gave me is the one who died on the cross. Who the, which one who died on the cross? It's the son of God. What was he called? What Jesus was Christ. He, was he called Jesus Christ or Yeshua Amashiach? You know, Yeshua Amashiach, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's his Hebrew or Jewish name. Then it's tried in English, it's Jesus Christ okay. in Tosamu Yesu Christu in Sutuki Jesu Morena. So that Yeshua has been translated. But when you into... dream God at night, which one do you dream? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me say this. Have you seen For a vision me, of God? I've seen a vision of an angel. I haven't seen a vision of God. Give me that description of the angel. Of also. an angel. Um, when I saw it, it was a shining being, a very gentle, uh, you know, in his presence there's, 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 there's peace, there's calmness. With hands? Two hands? He has two hands, he has face, but his face, it was shining. You could not see it, but you could tell that he has eyes that were blue. You could tell that he blue has... Blue eyes? Yes. According to the, to the encounter I had, you know? so. In that experience, I saw that shining being. Uh, he came, he stood next to me, he put his hands here, he looked at me, he didn't say anything. When I looked at his face, I could tell, his face I could not see eyes, but I could tell that he's smiling at me. Yeah, well, well, that's what you are telling me. That's why I'm saying we still have a problem in this dispensation. We still have a serious problem in this dispensation. If I can give you a description of some of the angels, or the doctrine, if you've studied doctrine mm. of angels, the cherubim is a yes, first face is yeah, face mm. of a man, face of a lion, lion of an ox, eagle, of an eagle mm. at the back. But the one that you have seen, mm. I don't know which one it is because I know of angels associated with horses and chariots. Yes, but I don't want to go there yes. because now, right now, I'm asking questions on behalf of the people uh, of the people. You are telling me about an, uh, some, uh, some, an angel that you have seen which was a uh, mm, shining being. Shining and mm. with hands. Mm. That means hands, it's, it's a, that, 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 was it a, a, a human being? I, I, I believe that God is big that we, could, we, we cannot limit him. Uh, uh. We cannot even limit him when it comes to salvation. I like it when you say you can't live. <laughs> you cannot leave it anything when it comes to salvation. You see, uh, if, if we say mm. we're the only ones 
who are going to heaven. Okay, only the born again. What about if you look at your eschatology? Mm -hmm. There are people who buy salvation with their blood. I don't know if you know that. I know. You know. I know. So why? Sh these ones are not. They are not confessing Jesus Christ. Because that 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 time, remember. The, the, the dispensation of grace or the time of grace would have went out. So if you are to, because many people actually, that's when they are going to wake up and realize that this thing of, 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 of being a child of God, a believer, it was something that was real, you know. So when that time has passed, that rapture has happened, many will awake and many will want to enter. For them to enter, it will be then when they'll they will have to pay with that. I ask you this, this question, Apostle. Yes. There's a person who's not going to church, who's not born again, does not belong to any denomination. And then at night, he wakes up and he says, Lord, forgive me. Oh, mm. Where's that person going? Immediately, then he gets a heart attack. Exactly what you are saying. If you confess, with your mouth. If a conviction He's, hit yeah, him yeah. through his dream, through the experience he had in the dream, okay. through the way that God communicated to that person, and that person find in his or her heart yeah. to say, you know what, this I need to do it, and they confess, definitely they're going to have to go to heaven. Let's make a reverse shot of that. Here is a born again mm. child of God, and you lie now, mm. you get a heart attack mm. before you ask for forgiveness. Where do you go? <laughs> uh, it's obvious. Where do you go? It's obvious. What is obvious? Obvious means you go to heaven. <laughs> Uh, if you go to heaven without repenting, it stands as it is. No. That's how it is. Repentance is the one that brings you back to God. I said you don't get a chance to repent. If you don't get a chance to repent, you will get a heart attack. If you don't before if, you ask God to forgive you. If you didn't get a chance, that means you're out. You go to hell. So what do you think? Do you think um, heaven? We'll have few people and Hades will be packed. Is, is hell the ultimate end of sinners? Um, it, it, it depends on the confession of people. If people, they, you know, anything can happen. Tomorrow people can wake up with a desire, like we've been through seasons and seasons and seasons of the church whereby people loved church we entered the season Samuel, yes sir. there are some of the questions that i've asked you and you did not answer me okay uh, sanctification and justification yes i'll leave you on that one you okay. did not so i'm saying there are people the church of today let's wrap up now we're going to close we don't have enough time okay. the church is claiming to be holy is it holy? The church is holy. Holy. Yes, the church is holy, but people who have... When you say church, are you talking about building or people? No, I'm talking about the church of Christ. Yeah. Yes, the, the church of the Christ. People. Human your, beings. your question is you about human beings. Building or human beings? I'm talking your about... church comprises the building or human beings? The question I wanted, like the clarity I wanted to understand is that you were saying the church is in the body men or the church as in the building no okay if you church are church to me is people it's people okay sir. now the church the church remember we are made by god after we have received him as i've said i've touched a little on sanctification that he sanctifies us so he cleanses us he purifies us so that we can walk in the standards that he expects us to walk last question people who are born again cannot say no The church cannot sin, is that what you're saying? The, is the church holy? Is the church still holy? The church or is does still... it fall and, and, and confess, fall and confess, fall and confess, or it's holy? The church is holy. Thank you so much. That, that will never change. 
the, thank you so much. But I'm going to call you again. Okay. I'm and going I to call you that. again because we need really to explain to viewers there about yes. uh, holiness mm. and uh, and the saints who are still lying today. Born again yes. Christians were lying. Some of them they steal um, and uh, they commit adultery. They do all those sort of things. I appreciate and that. There's, there's definitely the church. And I don't know if they are part of the church. <laughs> We'll deal with it when Thank I come you so much. Thank you, Doc. Thank you so for your time. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much.